we're definitely getting close. It's flat. Oh, overlook. <laughs> I overlooked the overlooking sign. <laughs> parking lot and it is definitely full so we are about to begin the sign says 3.9 miles we are logging it in my watch let's go it's cold in the shade i almost didn't bring a sweatshirt how's it going good how are you good oh my goodness i should have been taking the steps for more than just this week we are Point one miles in! Are we there yet? <laughs> the Appalachian Trail is the longest hiking only footpath in the world at roughly 2,190 miles long. So when I was in Wisconsin, I would go running with one of my friends there and something that would always get me through the run that she pointed out was look at the trees and see if they're married. Oh. And so this is one of those perfect little pathways where the trees are married. They've all met their match up at the top. And so when you're really tired and you don't want to focus on how you're like out of breath, you just look up and you're like, oh, the trees are married. All right, so we've hiked 0.4 miles. We've got warmed up a little bit. We shedded some layers and we have 3.5 miles to go. So let's keep going. So here is the McAfee Knob map. We are here. So we still have a while to go. Look at that rock. Oh, that's really cool looking. Holy cow, how yeah. does that even form? Oh, like yeah. it's going straight up into the air. <laughs> well, we have to take a selfie in front of that. McAfee! McAfee. <laughs> <laughs> I got a walking stick, a style and fanny pack, and she has her, her backpack and yeah. t-shirt. <laughs> Kira has the cool stuff. We decided to pick a nice little spot here slightly off the trail, take a little bit of a break definitely drink some water and then we'll pick back up. Hydration is key on the trail. Replacing body fluids lost through sweat will keep you feeling good as you hike. Kira, we're almost there! <laughs> we're really making progress. We have just over a mile left. Onward is upward. <laughs> We have some nice little stair steps. I think this is really cool because you're in the middle of nature, but they were able to form little spots where they can put steps. I feel like we're definitely getting close. We're starting to run into a lot of people who are coming back. Amazing. Everybody has been so friendly. That was something that really surprised me. Like if we didn't say hi first, they would say hi, they would ask you how you're doing, they would tell you good morning. We just saw three dogs. So this is really pretty. We're gonna stop and just look at the view a little bit. Should I tell Kira we made it? <laughs> See what she thinks. Kira, we made it. <laughs> This is it. Woo. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We do have to keep going that way. <laughs> Along the trail, we met a lot of friendly people like this group from Pennsylvania. Hi, we're Hi. from Pennsylvania. Uh, and we, oh. We're loving our trip here in Roanoke County. Yeah. We yeah. have the beautiful view at um, the knob up there. Yeah, we the, came to the do we're doing the Triple Crown, crown yeah. earlier today and tomorrow. Yeah. Ooh, yes. and we came here oh, from Pennsylvania yeah. just to do this. Yeah. The triple crown she's referring to consists of hiking Dragon's Tooth, McAfee Knob, and Tinker Cliffs. This loop is on avid hiker's bucket list across the U.S. When the day began, 
Dick had no idea I was gonna go on this big of an adventure. I'm very excited to see the top and just see the view. I know we keep saying over and over again how pretty the leaves are, but I am really excited to see what it looks like at the top right now with all of the leaves changing and the fall foliage. It, you do have to come here to see to believe it. It is yeah. really beautiful. Definitely feeling it in my quads. <laughs> yeah, this is really tiring. This part right here, the terrain is actually like more strenuous, I guess. Hi again. <laughs> Hi! Some folks enjoy hiking McAfee yearly, like Lucas and his dad. Today's my birthday, so we came out to hike. It's really fun. Well, Lucas loves to come up here, and he loves uh, climbing on the rocks. Um, he loves seeing all the views and just being outdoors. So I grew up in the Roanoke Valley, and I live in Craig County now, and it was really cool for my son to get to come out when he was nine. Um, I was 30, over 30 before I came up here. And I thought it was kind of a travesty when I see all these people coming from different states and all over and I've lived here my whole life and hadn't come up here. So just want to take advantage of that. We're definitely getting close. It's flat. Oh, overlook. <laughs> I overlooked the overlooking sign. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. There's the most photographed spot on the Appalachian Trail. 3,100 feet. Awesome. That's how high up we are. So pretty. Well, yeah, we definitely have to take pictures. It's the most photographed spot. This accidentally took a selfie. I'm glad I can cross it off my bucket list. It took me five years to do it, but definitely worth it. Definitely worth it to do it in the fall. Yeah. Mentally preparing to hike 3.9 miles back. <laughs> but we're gonna make sure we don't leave our trace. That's right. Pick up our trash before we leave. All right, so we have taken in the views up here, we've taken our pictures, and now we're ready to head back down. Right now it's super important to just watch your footing. Um, we are going downhill, and there are rocks and there's leaves covering those rocks. Your muscles are working just as hard on the way down than they were going up. It's important that you pick a pace that's right for you to avoid injury. We made it! <laughs> very challenging, but very beautiful. Yeah, it was very pretty. I'm glad that I can check that off my Rono bucket list, finally. And maybe I'll do another one now. We got as high as 3,100 feet, just under eight miles. And in total, we burned over 1,000 calories. So I will be eating pizza and cupcakes and whatever else all weekend long. Uh, pizza and cupcakes sound good to me too. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Today is gonna be a little something more. I've got a plan in mind, a special 